for those who love God. Now this is where things change with Romans 8, 28. Because up to this point, we love it. It's great. For this, we know that God causes all everything to work together for good. And we're like, yes, we love that. But then it gets to for those who love God. John 14, 15 says this. This is Jesus speaking. He says, if you love me, obey my commandments. Let me put it to you as simply as I can. We can't be out living our lives with reckless abandon with our, and our eyeballs up to sinful disobedience with no regard to God whatsoever in life and take this and fold it up and throw it in the corner and then the moment that we come up in a really, really difficult season, start claiming Romans 8.28. Because scripture says, for those who love God. And Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Do you see how that's all connected? And this is why I say that this is a powerful passage of scripture. If you're living your life according to God's plan and you're really involved and you're seeking him and you're walking with him, Romans 8, 28 will anchor you. It will root you in and there is not a season that you can go through that you can't go into and say, man, I know that God's gonna see me through. God's gonna take me to the other side of this. But it's really, really, really difficult to do that if we know that we're not walking with him. If we know, I mean, how can we really say, man, I just love God with all of my heart? How are you doing with keeping his commandments? Well, I don't know. Did he really expect us to keep those? Who's to say? Well, God said, actually. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And those are for our benefit. Because when we keep his commandments, when we're in his word and we're studying it and we're applying it and we're living according to his ways and walking in the footsteps of Christ, it's directing us in a path that ultimately is full and complete.